Sometimes it seems like you can tell when someone's in love just by looking at them. Their eyes seem to sparkle, their skin looks like it's glowing, and maybe they just seem extra happy and healthy. But have you ever thought about why this happens? What is it that makes us feel and look healthier when we're in love or feeling loved? Well, according to Dr. Bruce Lipton, it may have a lot to do with the chemicals that are released in your brain when you're experiencing this loving feeling and how your cells react. Here's what he has to say about this reaction and why negative perceptions like stress and sadness can actually keep your cells from growing properly. I open my eyes and I see someone I love. The perception of that person and the interpretation of love from that person leads me to release chemicals from the brain that match the perception. Love is associated with dopamine release. It's associated with vasopressin release. It's associated with oxytocin release. It's associated with growth hormone release. Very interesting. If I take the chemicals just released by the brain in the perception of love and add it to a plastic culture dish with cells, the cells grow exuberantly well. And then all of a sudden you realize why people who fall in love almost always are you know, exuberant in their own health. They glow with love because the chemistry going into the culture medium of love is a chemistry of health and growth. But I can just say the same person opens their eyes and, uh, uh, and sees something that scares them. Well, they're not going to release the chemistry of love. They start to release uh, cortisol, inflammatory agents, stress agents into the blood. And these agents, if I add them to a plastic petri dish, guess what? Cause the cells to shut down their growth and the cells begin to die. That's why fear uh, causes death <laughs> because it shuts down the cells. Uh, and the significance about that is the same individual, two different perceptions, two different chemical compositions being controlled by the brain uh, of love chemicals versus fear chemicals and two different biologies totally result from this. And all of a sudden, uh, we now have a whole scientific uh, lineage from how a thought turns into a chemical released by the brain, which goes into the blood as a culture medium, which then goes to the surface of the cell where the receptors pick up the signals, and then the receptors send the information to the genes and adjust the genetics, and all of a sudden, we're, we're not victims of the genes. Uh, it, our life is controlled by our perceptions, <laughs> and, and that's where all of the new medicine has to go because a recent uh, article revealed that we're beginning to see lifestyle and responses to life are responsible for the vast majority of illness on this planet. So our thoughts and perceptions can be very important when it comes to our health and happiness. This week, Dr. Lipton will join us for a free webinar where he'll delve into some ways we can influence our genes and how we can use our experiences to keep ourselves healthy and strong. He'll also get into the effect that cortisol has on the brain and how it can influence the way we make decisions and react to certain things. The webinar is free to watch at the time of broadcast. Just click the link below to sign up.